In this video, you'll learn about the Q&A feature for meetings in Zoom. This feature allows participants to ask questions during a meeting and for the host or co-host to answer their questions either privately, to everyone, or by marking them as something to be answered live. You may recognize this feature from Zoom webinars. However, this is something that is now available for all licensed users for their meetings. To use the Zoom Q&A feature for meetings, you must first make sure it is enabled by following these steps. Begin by going to stonybrook.zoom.us to access the Zoom portal. Then sign into your account using your net ID and password. Once you are logged in, look at the menu bar on the left of the screen and select Settings. In your settings, choose the section that says In Meeting Advanced. Then find the setting called Q&A in Meetings and enable it. Once you have enabled the Q&A feature, you can choose which specific settings you would like to enable for particular meetings. To customize Q&A settings for each meeting, follow these steps. In your Zoom profile on the left menu bar, select Meetings. Then click on the name of your scheduled meeting, and then select Q&A. Now you can see options available to you. Here you can allow participants to submit anonymous questions, as well as allowing them to view either answered questions only, or all questions that were submitted. If you chose all questions, you can allow participants to comment on questions or upvote them. To ask questions as a participant in a meeting, click the Q&A button in the Zoom toolbar. Once clicked, participants will see an option to type their questions. And if the host enabled this setting, they can even ask questions anonymously. As a host or co-host, you can view questions by selecting the Q&A button. Any unread question will display a number in a red bubble next to the button. All unanswered questions will appear on the Open tab in the Question and Answer window. To answer a question, you can select either of the following options. Type Answer or Answer Live. If you chose Type Answer, you can type in your response to the question in a text box and hit Send to respond to the message. When you type your answer, you are given the option to send the answer privately to the person asking. Once you have answered the question, it will appear in the Answer tab. If you chose Answer Live, then you should be acknowledging the question verbally in your meeting. Once you have finished addressing the question, you can select the Done button. This will move the question to the Answered tab. In the Answered tab, it will acknowledge that you answered a question live. However, you are still given the option to choose the Type Answer button to document your response. Participants will see a red bubble with a number in it next to the Q&A icon that is acknowledging that there was a response to a question. Once they click this, 
they can view the answer and even see if the question was acknowledged live. If a question is deemed inappropriate or irrelevant to the conversation, you have the ability to delete or dismiss it. To do so, hover over the question and select the three dots, and then select Delete to remove the question entirely. Or, you can select Dismiss to place the question in the Dismiss tab. If you go to the Dismiss tab, you'll notice that you can click the Reopen button to restore the question. If you would like to change the settings for the Q&A tool mid-meeting, you can do so by going into the Q&A area and select the gear icon at the top right of the window. Then you can see what settings you currently have enabled and you can switch these settings to be applied automatically to the meeting. If the meeting host allows participants to view all questions asked, they can also enable the upvoting and commenting features for participants. The upvoting feature allows participants to select a thumbs up icon to vote on a question that was asked. And the comment feature allows participants to comment on questions that have been asked by others. When questions are upvoted, meeting hosts are able to choose whether to show the most recent questions asked or questions with the most amount of upvotes. Thank you for watching. For more Zoom-related content, please subscribe to our channel.